chimney over the roof is 300 and you can see so the question I have copied and you can see in order to illustrate it so I have written a small diagram to indicate chimney and roof and there is a roof with an angle of 35 degree okay here so here the chimney it is in the shape of your cylinder okay so here the scale given one is to 10 10 means this 400 mm will be divided into 40 mm so go to circle and take diameter 40 okay now divide this circle into eight equal parts for the circle using thin lines so the angle we should consider that is 45 degree 45 90 135 and 180 okay, now using the extend to next this 135 degree so using this extend to next command we would extend these lines okay dimension 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 is 40 mm okay now mention the naming for this uh, cylinder top view it is having two faces top face and bottom face top face a and bottom face written within bracket a1 okay a1 b1 c1 day t1 same way you can write the notations here and go over the okay, center of the axis of the cylinder now by projecting upward we can construct the front view of it so the front view of cylinder is a rectangular face But we don't know how much is the front view distance. Randomly, I'll consider a length. I'll be constructing the front view. Okay. Okay, here you can see the rooftop has been inclined at an angle of 35 degrees further to the horizontal so I'll be giving an angle one fifty you can check the angle so 30 degree inclination okay draw the projection lines you consider this top face and uh, it is cut it upper portion so I'll be making it thick before that I'll be splitting that upper portion selecting that upper portion here I'll make that upper part as thick here write down the notation here cut edge portion for the cut plane 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay. now you can see uh, 
shortest portion of the chimney over the roof is 300 mm so from this end i'll be considering 30 mm 300 means 30 1 is to 10 scale okay then cut then bring it back so this is what's actually the front view distance with so that upper portion i'm going to trim it okay okay now so using parallel line method parallel line means here there are two lines of parallel this line should be parallel to the x one okay since it is a cylinder the total length we should consider that is pi d pi into d diameter it is 40 mm so you can calculate the total length using calculator pi into d so the total length you will get here it is use the offset command and give the length 125.6 that's what your pi d length enter click so that's the total pi d length now we have to divide this 125.6 into 8 equal parts so divide using calculator we'll get the length the distance here So the length you will get it is 15.7 okay and then split it up into eight equal parts okay now write down the notations with the capital letter on the development portion to draw the projection lines one should be there on the vertical edges of A and G okay. then two it has to be there on B and eight should be there on H so you mention it in order to avoid the confusion now the from 3 and 7 from 3 it is on, on the vertical line C and it should be extended till G and this is your point 3 and 7 4 and 6 4 on D and 6 on F this is your 4 and this is your 6 and this is 5 now connect this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 1 using curve command okay use the curve command here because this is a cylinder join from 1 to 2 so use the thick line that is 0 0.5 mm thick So you can subscribe for the channel, hit on the like button and the bell icon for the latest notifications and share it to maximum students so that they can be benefited from this. So that completes the problem.